Welcome to video number one of PHP and MySQL. Now, this video is all about having a little overview of what we're going to cover in the syllabus. Now, this is quite exciting because a lot of openware software or web is developed in PHP and MySQL. Now, the great thing about this is that it's open source. It means that it's free to a certain degree. Now, your question would be, but how do they make money? Well, one of the great ways of making money in PHP is labor. And that is actually where everything starts. Now, when you look at the job market, the job market, in essence, you would see that PHP and MySQL developers gets paid quite a good amount of money. Now, one thing that I do suggest is broaden your knowledge and uh, get down to teaching yourself JavaScript and Java in essence. And if I were you, I won't stop there. I would actually go further and gain some knowledge in P ASP.NET, VB, and C Sharp. So let's start off by having a look at what PHP and MySQL is. And let's have a look at the overview of this product. Pro, um, of this video <laughs> got a bit tongue-tied there <laughs> so let's have a look now let's chat about what will be covered in this whole syllabus now the thing is we're gonna have a look at intro to PHP we're going to get started with PHP what we need to have a look at and what we need to make sure that we cover we're also gonna write our first PHP script we're going to have a look at embedding PHP into HTML and embedding HTML into PHP. So we're going to have a, have a look at both of them. We're going to be covering uh, variables, values and value types, basic operators that we use for certain conditions, conditions and conditional and loops. We're going to have a look at include and require setting up file structure, starting to create a site for a restaurant, PHP functions, arrays, getting started with MySQL, which is quite interesting, what is relational database, configuring users in MySQL, creating databases, we'll also be looking at third-party applications which makes MySQL much easier to use. We're going to have a look at creating tables, MySQL data types, MySQL commands which includes create, insert, select, update, delete and drop. We're also going to go in depth into PHP MyAdmin. We're going to have a look at using MySQL with PHP connection, querying and retrieving and so on. We'll also be looking at MySQL functions, PHP sessions and cookies, create PHP logins and systems. We're also going to look at register, login, and log out users. And once we're done with all this, we're going to have a look at the final product overview. Now, this is another thing is what you need to know before actually starting this whole syllabus. You need to make sure that you understand and you know HTML well. So I actually wrote the know your way. You need to know what all um, all the tags are in HTML. You got to know CSS cascading style sheet. You need to understand the basic terms, and CSS can be very complicated. So basic terms will be will be fantastic. JavaScript is another thing that's important, um, but, you know, you can go without it. The only reason why we always suggest knowing and understanding the basics of JavaScript is because PHP works in a very similar fashion. So this was the introductory to PHP and MySQL. So the next video, we will be having a look at the intro in PHP, and we'll actually go ahead and setting up the environment for PHP to actually work because if you don't have the correct environment you can PHP and PHP all you want <laughs> but if you don't have the right environment 
then uh, you're not going to uh, get, you know, it's not going to work. So, next video, intro to PHP.